<laughs> nice shot. Oh, that went down. Okay, so I have stickers and a mirror cube. I think you probably know what's gonna happen based on the thumbnail and title of this video. Okay, I need one of each color. So the plan is I'm gonna take the stickers off of this mirror cube and then I'm gonna scramble it. I'm probably gonna use the world record scramble. And so this is essentially gonna have two solved states. So it's gonna be solved relative to the pieces, so it's gonna be like cubic like this. But also this cube's gonna be solved relative to the stickers. So the pieces themselves will look scrambled, but the stickers will look solved, if that makes sense. So I guess it's time to take all the stickers off. This really hurts. I've only done four stickers. I think I might need to get a tool. To do this. Why is this center sticker so hard? This is gonna take a while. These are so hard to get off! Oh my god. Oh, this is strange. This is already getting weird. Ow! Ah, oh, that got me under my finger now, that really hurt. Ow. De-stickering a mirror cube is dangerous. Okay, so I've got a tool now. This should be a lot faster. Ooh. Look at how deep the screw is in there. Right, last sticker. Here we go. How weird, it's like a force mirror cube. No, it's not. What? I <laughs> just missed a whole song. Okay, now the actual last sticker. Done. And technically it is exactly the same puzzle, it's solved the same way. Like, even without stickers, it's technically the same thing, it just doesn't look as cool. And now I've just got a mess of mirror stickers. Okay, the next step is to do the WR scramble on the cube. So I've got to get the scramble. Let's see. Okay, so according to the speed solving wiki, this scramble, I'm gonna do it from this angle here, we've got the really thin edges here. I'm gonna put that in the front and top, I guess. Yeah, so this is the world record scramble on a mirror cube. And so now I'm going to sticker it, like, if you just see this face here, like, that'll all be one colour, then that face will all be one colour. So hopefully this looks cool. So now for the boring part, the longest part, just stickering. Well, after doing one sticker, I think I've changed my mind on how I'm going to do this. I'm going to put letters that correspond to numbers on all these pieces, so then I'll solve it, and then it'll say when it's solved what all the colours need to be, and I'll sticker it while it's solved, because I tried, I tried to do this piece, in the middle there and you can see it didn't really turn out too well because all the pieces that are above it get in the way and so that's just going to be a mess. So I'll do that and then I'll solve it and then I'll sticker it. Hopefully that'll be a lot easier.
All right, and it's done. I think this turned out really cool, actually. It kind of looks like that one Rubik's brand mirror cube, but like, it's kind of cursed because it's scrambled yet not scrambled because it's still a cube. I wonder how this looks solved. I guess I'll solve it based on the colors rather than the shape now, like a normal three by three. Oh, OLL is the weirdest thing. Wow, okay. <laughs> so that worked out pretty good. I didn't mess up the stickering. That's great. That would have been quite disappointing if I had solved it, but then it's like an impossible sticker. If you enjoyed this video, I've got a few more somewhat like this where I make wacky cubes. <laughs> so definitely go click on the ones that are on screen right now. And I'll see you there.